Hello friends, let's start with this topic called as text to column. The other name of the same is data parsing. You see, where do you find this is like if you go to your data tab, you can find this uh, here, text to column. What it does is it split a single column of text into multiple columns. Okay, let's say in this case, my name is uh, Bas Laura Kalhan. Now, what I'm supposed to do is like I need to split the entire name into different cells. So, let's say Miss in this cell, Laura in second cell and Kalhan in third cell. So, it may be like someone may have four different uh, like uh, parts in his or her name. So, in that case, it is not going to be split into three parts. Rather, it will be in four or five parts. Okay, depending on the length of your name. So, every separate group of uh, alphabets together will be taken as one entity and you need as many number of columns as you have a group of words in your total name so <clears throat> what to do how to initiate you see this is a data set whereby you need to split the data in such a manner where initials go in one direction first name go in second direction and then last name means here only two names are there first and last Hence, you see, your data will be split into this part. If I'm using uh, this uh, command in Excel, which is called as text to column. So, let's start. You see, first thing that you need is like, here, yeah, this is your original information. But you need to process the information so as to split the information into different columns. So, now what we are going to do is, we are going to create a second entry, second set of data sets. And I'm just replicating it by doing control c control v now i'm going to process my command on this data set so that this data set is split into different columns where we have a requirement of initial first name and last name <clears throat> so we need to start with selecting the data where you would like to do this execution once this data is ready and you have selected the data then you can go to this option called as text to column uh, one more thing which you need to understand the second name of this concept is data parsing you will not be able to read data parsing anywhere on your excel okay so it is like only text to column which is visible to you now here system is asking you for delimit and fixed width you need to go with delimit you see in the bottom you can see the uh, type of data that you have used for your particular execution miss full stop laura Callahan. Huh? So, we need to proceed further. My step, next step is very important. This is very important. You see here, system is asking you, what are your delimiters? Means, what are the main specifications of any special uh, icon or like semicolon, comma, space, tab? What would you like to use as a splitter? Okay. Now, you see in this name, miss, then followed by full stop, space, Laura, space, Caleb. This is what is your constitution of your name. So, how can we split the information? One is space is very important. Laura and Colin in, which, in between which you do have some space. So, you can use space as a criteria to split the information. Second is, it can be full stop also. Okay. After your initial, you have a full stop. So, I can use full stop as a splitter. Okay. So, what you need to do is like you need to select the proper uh, option from the given options or you have to go for other where you can put in semicolon too. Here we don't have semicolon in our data set, but you can use it too. So here, what are you going to use? I'm going, to, uh, semicolon is already there. So I'm going to use space. You see, when I'm clicking on space, what it means? Here, after every space, wherever you find a space, you, you get a line, straight line. What is this? System is going to split the data likewise. Okay, this is what you actually require. They are giving you a data preview. So, once you are done with it, go for next and you see now it is almost ready. So, we are going to process it. System will say ki, ah, data is already there. So, you see the shaded area where we initiated it, you have some data. So, what you need to do, you need not to worry. Simply say yes, you can proceed. Now, this is what is your split of data available to you. Now, what you have done is you have used data parsing command to, to bring in the required data. Okay. To bring in the required data and this required data is like i am splitting my initials from my first name and my last name hope you're getting it 
okay so this was my initial data given to me let me color it uh, in a different color so that you can understand it this is from where we started first what we did is like we created a new column let's say insert copy the same data set there and then we initiated this text to column option by selecting the data and going to data tab here is your text to column and then you have gone to the next tab where you have mentioned it how you are going to split your data once you did it and then next next finish is what you did okay i'm not going to run it again because it will again spread the data uh, once the split is done you'll no more be able to see that same uh, the extra data file that you have created and this is how we can execute text to column or data parsing option on your data set and I, we are able to spread the data into multiple parts one more thing which you need to understand is like right now we are applying text to column what is text text is actually uh, like uh, text in excel text is a group of alphabets together hmm? the, but you see what if, if it is a number what if it is a number number to column can we do it no now point is like or is it formula to column sometimes we copy it we create these uh, characters using a formula let's say i'm creating it here equals to r e p t bracket start let me put laura laura is my first name i'm going to repeat this name for five times so rep function is used for repeating okay i'm going to repeat this name for five times when i'm doing it can you see any space in between no so let me do something special here after Laura. Let me put a space so that I get a space everywhere in this. Now you see, what can, uh, I'm sure that you are able to see space in between Laura 1, Laura 2, Laura 3, Laura 4, Laura 5. Now when you have a space, then you can use your this data parsing function. Let's try it here. Okay, uh, this is my name. Let's say this is my name on which I'm going to apply this data parsing. Okay, so I'm going to apply data parsing and then split this name into multiple columns so when i'm going into a data tab going into text to column you see can you see here equals to rept d45 is what is mentioned there so when i say next and then i say next you see what is happening here is you see nothing is happening why because it is actually a formula we are supposed to split the text into column not the formula into column okay so this is what is going to be a problem so in case you have to do it like this any Laura five times you have to uh, split into parts. So what you have to do is like you copy this, paste special, first convert it into value. Well, when it is value, you see what I've done is copy, paste special, value. Now see the difference in these two cells. When you go to the cell, see here, it is REPT day four in uh, five times. But when you go to the next column, it is no more REPT d4 comma 5 this is laura 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 this is actually text now if you apply this function of data a parsing or text to column here you see here you see laura earlier you were able to see a formula so this is what is very important so try to avoid applying it on a formula first convert the formula that particular formula output into into text and then you can run it now next let's say i'm doing next and then finish can you see this output is split into parts laura 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 all of them they are different cells here right now i'm in f5 this is g5 h5 and i5 and j5 so what i'm trying to tell you is uh, let me bring it back text is different from formula when it comes to uh, data parsing and uh, text to column 